When you give Bombas this holiday, you're giving more. More comfort because their socks, underwear, t-shirts, and slippers are made with such absurdly soft materials and more good because for every item you purchase, they donate another to someone in need. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items in homeless shelters. When you buy yours from Bomba, you're also donating essential items to those who need them. One purchased equals one donated. And Bombas don't just do good, they feel good. I have their Sherpa line slippers and Ooh, chef's kiss. Two chef's kisses on my feetses. <laughs> Bombas has beautifully designed, ready-to-go gift boxes filled with high-quality basics everyone hopes to get. They're the perfect holiday gift, but if your gifty doesn't absolutely love them, they're covered with a 100% happiness guarantee. Go to bombas.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. That's bombas.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW at check out this might get weird are we rolling we're rolling well then cheers grace helbig cheers mamory heart i am once again i mean uh, hot off the press you heard it here first drinking a wild sweet orange hot tea hell yeah i can't wait i'm gonna drink an apple spiced apple tea when i'm done here because also my new little yeti mug just got delivered and I'm so excited about welcome it. Welcome to the family, and you're welcome, Yeti, for literally talking about you every single <laughs> week and you're not giving us money. <laughs> I do. For some reason, just in my mind, they support us, but maybe that's just my nope. parasocial relationship with a brand happening right now. We are absolutely free agents when it comes to the insulated mug yeah. and tumbler community. And we are connoisseurs of, uh, in a way, if you'd like mm-hmm. to consider that, Yeti. Um, um, unless another brand of insulated mug comes along and wants yeah, to support Yeah, they were us. total whores. Yeah. Um, Grace, we, look, I've reached a new low. Okay. Here, let me hear it. I, if you're not watching the podcast, am wearing yeah. the hat I bought for Halloween that is a generic NASCAR, no team, no I anything. Love it. Just a fan of just racing and general checkered flag yeah. baseball hat. And now it's my favorite hat. I love it. It looks like you could have made it yourself with a bunch of like iron ons. Yeah, I know. Totally. I bought it because I was like, I don't want to represent one team because I had like Valvoline and stuff yeah. on on uh, on Halloween. So I was like, we got to get a generic hat we can both wear. And now I'm like, well, look who's got a new hat. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you <laughs> like it. I definitely got some looks when I attempted to go to the gym earlier and all the treadmills were booked. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Hate when that happens. No, I think it's great because it does scream racing. Yeah. Um, but then when you look closer, you're like, doesn't give me anything else. <laughs> yeah. So she just likes she likes racing. Just, okay. Just the sport in general. <laughs> I feel like a girl who's trying to impress a guy who's like, I love yeah. football. Who's your favorite team? <laughs> football, football football teams. The I enjoy men. the football ones. <laughs> yeah. I think they're pretty good. Dude, I'm um, seeing Travis Kelsey every commercial, everywhere everywhere okay. also i for whatever reason i think i follow rob mckellarney or whatever from always sunny yeah and he was just on the kelsey brothers have their own podcast i've seen clips yeah and i saw a clip that was really fun about him trying to um uh uh bet money or what is it called uh, when you do a charity donation <laughs> for uh, an auction Oh, okay, there we full, go. We got there. Full glitch. Uh, he was trying to bid bid on a uh, the other brother, the Eagles brother, Kelsey jacket, and he kept getting outbid. He was going to do sixty two thousand dollars. He was outbid, Whoa. and then uh, gets a message that the person that's outbidding him is his wife, Sweet D, <laughs> and she's trying to get the jacket. It was really cute, but I was like, oh my god. Kelsey They're- brothers are now all up in my feed. Well, everywhere. what I'd like to know, because granted, if anyone listening to this is a big football fan, like Travis Kelsey yeah. was obviously incredibly successful and incredibly famous before yeah. Taylor Swift even knew who he was. Yeah. You know, but the amount of cur- commercial season, yeah. were those all filmed before football season started? And now it. It, it just they, he just happens to be everywhere because right. I cannot turn on a pre-roll. <laughs> I can't turn on anything without a Kelsey brother trying to sell me something. And now it's not even like glossy stuff. It's yeah. like it's like 
on a grainy camera at CVS. Yeah. He'll like, be like, Epsom salt. Look, you know hey, what I mean? Like, he's selling everything. There's something really inspiring about what he's done, which is say yes to everything, which is where I feel like what we're we in the done. spot. <laughs> well, we should have done we're, it when people were actually paying real money we're literally opening our podcast <laughs> being like hello yeti would you like to sponsor us this is not the first time we've asked this while recording oh. and we're like, why is this guy in every commercial <laughs> why is he so what a sellout pathetic person and meanwhile i just slid into the dms of like solo wave to get a free infrared oh, wand you know no shame no shame i said this out loud to elliot because Big moment here while we're recording this. Yeah. We're recording this on the day that I finished my last hydration this morning. So literally, yeah. I am phasing out of the, my last round of chemo. I'll be phasing into the recovery of it. But all of the things I needed to do outside of my house for this round are done. Um, what was that? What was I going to say? This is a chemo <laughs> fog chemo brain in action. <laughs> oh, that I did say out loud to Elliot last night when we were like, having all the emotions about round six ending yeah. and i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna like channel more of the memory part of me that's really like buried and really start reaching out to people <laughs> next year on dms <laughs> and just see what i yeah. can see what i can do he's like why not everyone does it i was like i know i just Girl. like now's the time especially <laughs> like when I i'm mean able to like travel and like start to partake in life again also grace like full to say we have had conversations off the pod just in our normal yeah text thread where i'm like look cancer kicked your ass yeah. now like now exploit it to your advantage i know because I the know. fact is you can slide in to a fancy ass resorts instagram right. and be like hi I just recovered from chemo oh, and cancer. That's what I'm screaming. I'd love nothing more than to just relax. Is this something you'd be into? Yeah, that's what I'm screaming. I'll craft I gotta, them for you. Right. I got to find the way to craft it. Uh, and I got to remember that, like, who I'm sending this message to is just an employee whose job is to spend the company's money on influencer yeah. trade. Like, it's not coming from this person, whoever's messaging me back's bank account. Like, you're not this borrowing is... money from someone that you're right. saying, do you have a room that's empty? Right. Yeah. And then I'll do my own promotion or whatever you need from my end to make this make sense. I just get um, scared. So that's <laughs> that's on the to do list once <laughs> things start really feeling better. I love that you're like, you know, I really like to bring in a part of Mamrie's personality <laughs> into my life more and it's just the absolute <laughs> shameless part the shameless like let's ring it's, out every fucking drop of no, this it's not even shameless it's just like <laughs> confidently playing this game whatever this is that everyone else is doing you're not doing anything that anyone else isn't already doing i'm just not, not being more. approached Right, right, I, I know. Just, I, I think, think other people get DMs from things to see right. if they'd be interested, as opposed to me. I'm like my, I've almost made a fake like PR company <laughs> email address. Yeah, yeah. For myself. Well, that's that's the thing is that like I'm not getting asked to the dance, so I feel a little lame trying to ask a bunch of people. But I gotta just get over my own whatever insecurity that is, because what's the worst that's gonna happen? They ignore my message or they say no. That's it. I move on. And here's the gorgeous thing now, Grace. Yeah. I mean, I've been so thirsty that I've like <laughs> gone to message someone and seen that I already had done it two yes. years earlier. <laughs> but the the good part is, is that now it's it's a double edged sword, actually, because yeah. now it's a business chat. If yeah. it's a business, it's not like you used to DM someone and like you knew they were seeing it, you know, yeah. um, now it'll go to business chat so they kind of can filter. Yeah. But now you can unsend. So oh. I have straight up unsent a message that I saw from two years ago <gasps> and wow. just re and sent a new one. That's fantastic. So they don't okay. know like they've already rejected me. See, I don't even know that anything about that world. I've it's like been... hitting on someone when they're really drunk. Right. And then they're like, no, nah, I'm not into it. And then you're like, you see them a couple days later. You're like, I don't remember Delete. hitting on them. Yeah. Oh, we got a fresh light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway that's Sorry. like one of the first things that i thought i was like chemo's done time to start asking people for a bunch of favors let's oh, see girl. i'm going to napa in 
like n- not this weekend but the next my nice. friend ashley from north carolina who got the rib at the parade yes it's coming out and we're gonna have a weekend since i didn't go to north carolina this fall nice. i've already got i've already got a free tasting Fun. i'm i'm in talks to maybe get a train ride and i think i might say i think i might have been ghosted i think i might have been ghosted on the train ride it's a, nope. i mean do you want me to pull train, up in, i don't the know DM? the train people are on their instagram as much as we no, wish they no, were no, no it's like the wine train it's like oh. it's like five hundred dollars a ride or something i'm not i think that. this is interesting to an audience too i don't think this is an insular conversation because i do think everyone's trying to see what kind of connections they can make online okay well well let's do let's do like the gamut first yeah. of all okay with the solo wave with the face wand yeah is it expensive no it's like 150 bucks that's but they pretty, have i mean but that's like you know i know i know not but nothing cons- but considering it's not a vacation, but they yeah. have the mask thing that's right. way more expensive that like I refuse to pay for. Yeah. So I just oh, and I realized I just my first message to them I misspelled their company name. First word <laughs> I said Solar Wave. It's Solar Wave. It's one word. <laughs> I said Solar Wave. I said <laughs> I'm being so vulnerable. You would think this was a bonus podcast. Okay. Oh, this is great. Solar this is Wave. Helpful. Any chance you want to gift me one of your wonderful masks and I'll put it on my social and then you got to follow it up with this. I said, I figured it was worth a shot before biting the bullet and buying one anyway. Yeah, you got to okay. act like you're okay. going to pay the money and you're like doing a favor like, is this mutually beneficial? I've right. actually I say this. I say the phrase wanted to reach out to see if this is mutually beneficial before mm-hmm. I just become a customer myself. That's excellent. That's okay. excellent. We'll That's pull up really another good one. stuff. We'll pull up another one. Where's the... Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, I slid yeah. into the DMs of Outdoorsy recently. Nice. Because this was three days ago because Chip wants to go to a music festival. And I was like, I will only go with you if we have like a bomb ass RV. Yes. Yes. So, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Okay. There's a beautiful spa in Napa. I'm trying to get a free spa day for my girls. Okay. Oh, nice. So I just said, hi there. Curious if you could pass along the info of whoever works on your collaborations and social promotion. I'm going to be up there in two weeks and would love to figure out something if we can. And then you go to their most recent post and say, check DMs. That's the, that's the most embarrassing part. Oh, okay. That's the most embarrassing part where you know that there's a, there's a possibility people, you know, also follow this account and they could see that and be like, there she goes you know but also there she goes like look at her go good for I her i think so too okay let me see i'll, I'll do like one more okay yeah I'll this do is the- really great i'm like just like now in my fatigue state over the next five to seven days might be throwing out some half brain dms just to yeah see. do it i mean grace <laughs> how many vacations have i gotten i know you lit well i this started too because you, I had months ago, I sent you a DM that higher dose who makes your uh, the sauna ma- bag. Mm-hmm. They make this mat that's for like body recovery. That's like basically a mat full of crystals. And it's not, it's, that, it's not cheap. And no. I would send it to you. And I was like, Hey, before I like, is this the company that makes your, uh, sauna bag? And you were like, yes, before you spend any money, let me DM them. <laughs> And then literally five hours later, you're like, they're sending you one next week. I was like, this is amazing. Well, let me tell you, first of all, uh, I love them. They're like yeah. my favorite company. And so I need to put it on my social. For I sure. wanted to put it in a video, too, because the mat is like, it's really cool. Really it's cool. overwhelming. Yeah. I got to use it more frequently, but it's I, incredibly cool. <laughs> I thought the higher dose mat, I thought it would be like, uh, I use it for a year and then it burns up. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. I, like I go through hair dryers. They're just yeah. hot. For like, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's going to burn out. And I've had that thing like four years and I still, Amazing. I still cook in there like a little burrito. Um, but Grace, you know what that one, I, I did pull your cancer card. On yeah. That yeah, one. yeah. And I've said, okay. please do. Pull I, I, cancer okay. Card. I had, I because had this is everyone. literally <laughs> being bought for cancer. I was so tired during one of my recovery weeks that I was like, I need to start stretching or doing something in my body, but something that requires minimal to no effort. Mm -hmm. And then literally this popped up in my feed and I was like, I just have to lay there. And it has this crystal energy that just like moves through my body and has the most insane amount of positive reviews like on their site. So what does it feel like? 
it warms up and you can set all the different um functions of it to your levels because you can do more intense they say to start lower they have like it's like ions that come out of these crystals and then there's this other term that i'm forgetting right now that's also some sort of like it heals bodies like after you've done like a lot of physical fitness or mm-hmm. like yoga or that sort of thing. And you just uh, sort of lay there on a warm mat and you absorb this it. whatever crystal ion energy. And look, I'm all about that woo woo crazy shit, especially when it. someone sends it to me for free. Totally. What's it called? <laughs> EMF? Yeah. Something that like up? that. Yeah. It and sounds it's like basically a, sounds the, like a punk band. The, um, the mechanism that comes with it is like this big ass sort of, um, rectangular like it looks like an old school like get twists and turns and buttons everywhere so it does look a little bit like more advanced um but i'm figuring it out yeah i love this i love this no you got it depends on who you're dming yeah watch our whole audience just starts dming people for free shit I, i would never be more proud of them yeah um and it depends on the scale of it so i just slide in there and say like hello love you guys uh Mm -hmm. and then just ask can you pass me along because the thing is if you're not acting like the person who's at you know the the four seasons instagram isn't the person who's like approving it right that's the thing to remember that all of these businesses have influencer programs that they've developed because this happens so frequently so if it's that case i say like hello like hope you're well blah 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 and then say like um could you by chance pass along the email of your I say I'm I don't even know if this is a real title I'm like your digital marketing director or whoever takes care of your social media promotions sounds sounds and then you get the email and then you email them you give a little like hey what's up this is who I am I'm impressive yes 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 you know like the you know you throw that's where you throw in the New York Times bestseller yeah yeah you say like I've got a popular podcast that I'll talk about this on you know Mm -hmm. all all that jazz and then you say long story short I would love to work out something to where I could come visit and Mm -hmm. this is how I would promote it um but then you also say would love to (laughs) this is like my TED talk I love this I'm taking I'm actually not cheap I just want to get free shit no, I think this is so okay. important because people are doing this and I'm sure there's all these business podcasts that talk about it. And I've talked to Sarah Whittle about this before because she worked at Smosh uh, like in social media for and has worked in yeah. social media for so long that she knows all this shit too. Yeah. So it's, I end so it's it not with, like, yeah, I basically end it with um, would love to figure out a package mm. of social promotion that you guys would like feel comfortable with and uh would be you know because some people would be like we don't care about tiktok right some people might be like oh wow you got a podcast you know so so basically you offer it and then you'd be like would love to work out a package and then the second they bite yeah then you got them on the line there you go there you go (laughs) we're fishing now (laughs) i'm like i'll instagram story the shit out of it i'll do this i'll do that but then there's other places that they know the routine so they'll be like hey this is what we want we want 10 slides a day we want two static posts we want one real like they Mm. know yeah they know no and then i'm like well i'm the only person you gave this free stay to that like isn't gonna do a butt pick (laughs) they're just excited to have someone who's like funny and excited about food exactly exactly but that's authentic to you and your audience it would feel weird if suddenly you're just doing ass pics at the four season and everyone's like is mamry going through something (laughs) like it's nice and fun and good for her but like is she her but like has anyone had eyes on chip is there a breakup (laughs) where is chip what's going on (laughs) Have you been naughty or nice this year? Well, you might fool Santa, but you definitely cannot fool your internet provider. They've seen all your late night naughty searches this year, but you know what? Your business is yours. That's why this holiday season, you should gift yourself the gift of privacy with ExpressVPN. Guess what? Private mode doesn't keep your activity private. Your internet provider like AT&T or Verizon can see all the websites you've clicked on They've likely already sold it all to advertisers. And you know who else can see everything? Whoever owns the Wi-Fi that you're using, like your boss, your school, or even your parents. 
But if you're using ExpressVPN, all of your traffic gets rerouted through an encrypted server, so all of your browsing activity stays between you and your God, whoever you believe in. I also personally use ExpressVPN to change my computer's location so I can watch the Eagles games every week out here in Los Angeles. ExpressVPN's app works on all devices, so whether you're on your phone, tablet, laptop, whatever, you are always protected. And best of all, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. All you do is tap one button to turn it on and boom, you're protected. So take yourself off the naughty list this year with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash TMGW and get three extra months for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S VPN.com slash TMGW. Expressvpn.com slash TMGW. It's holiday season, which means, oh my God, you are busy. Every single minute is stretched. Every single minute is planned. And the last thing you want to do is spend any of those precious minutes standing in line. That's when DoorDash will be your best friend. Do you need a little help this holiday season? Well, then you're going to let DoorDash be your destination for holiday deals, special offers, and everyday miracles. From December 1st to the 12th, deck your doorstep with savings on gifts, groceries, meals, and more from your favorite stores for less. You guys, you're busy going around buying people gifts. You're at department stores, you're at toy stores, you're at lingerie stores. So don't spend your time at a grocery store. Instead, put all your orders in on DoorDash. They have got you covered. With thousands of grocery, restaurant, and retail stores available nationwide, you're going to find deals on whatever you need when you need them. Plus, they've got special offers daily, okay? You never have to show up empty-handed. With DoorDash, you can get everything you need for a happy holiday season delivered delivered fast and if you want to save any more become a dash pass member you're going to enjoy exclusive offers perks all season long and you're also going to get zero delivery fees and reduce service fees on eligible orders too that's zero delivery fees so give it a shot don't waste your time these holiday seasons standing in line at the grocery store when you could be hanging out at a holiday party these deals are just getting started and they're not going to last long so shop holiday savings on doordash now use code weird holiday to get 50 percent off up to 10 dollar value when you spend 15 dollars or more at convenience grocery or select retail stores on doordash term supply that is code weird holiday on doordash for 50 percent off up to a 10 dollar value when you spend 15 or more at convenience grocery or select retail stores on doordash terms apply well, I love that we spent 20 minutes talking. I'm like, do we yeah. even go into these questions? <laughs> I mean, we can. I think that we, I got overwhelmed. I don't know about you. Yeah. With a shit ton of questions. That's shit really ton. fun. So thank you guys, as always, for participating and having just such a spectrum of the types of questions you're asking. Truly, there is a breadth of uh, of listener We've got, or you know, who knows? We yeah. could be getting, we could be getting questions from people who have never listened to the podcast, but they're just like, "Oh, I still follow her on social media." Right, um, exactly. Well, let's do some cues, and then I also know that, like, I feel like we have enough to where if we need to do another one, we can just like use these, yeah, leftover totally. ones, and not have to, to because I know you're, I know you're on a sunset. Yeah, I will be fading into the darkness as the sun goes down, and then it will just be, I will get a little bit more tired each day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that sounds great. Okay, cool. We'll kick Let's it off, kid. Let's jump into these. Let's see. Which one do I want to start with? Okay. I know. Okay. Um, could you deal? I This might be familiar. Mm. I'm not sure if I've answered this, but could okay. you deal? They're, you know, perfect guy. Uh, perfect partner all of that they're grown and they still believe in santa i think we have done this okay one. that sounds familiar to me then let me go with this one could you deal they have an intense kermit miss piggy obsession during sex role play role play every time yeah i, do, I mean, it doesn't say every time but they have an intense kermit slash miss piggy obsession during sex role play i mm. depends on if i'm supposed to be kermy that's my first question who's who <laughs> Because honestly, I don't know. Miss Piggy's clothes seem a little uncomfortable sometimes. Mm, but if you're, but if it's role play, I'd be like only naked Miss Piggy. And yeah. like, I'd also be like, did you have this obsession before me? Or do you think I right. resemble a little pink pig? Right. Yeah. Because I don't also want to be in my head while I've gotten myself into this character thinking 
that like I'm auditioning to see if I'm doing it better than a previous partner that yes. they had. <laughs> well, I was going to say, just for the sake of this question. Yeah. Let's each do our best Miss Piggy. Oh, gosh. Okay. What's Miss Piggy? Orgasming. No! <laughs> That was mine. That was my impression. Okay. How's Miss Piggy sound? Oh, Kermy. Is that Miss Piggy? You, I think that's good. Okay. It's a little oh. bit like Rosanna Pancino. <laughs> oh, Kermy. I know. I, I'm going for I'm going Kermit. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, Kermy. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's what like is a, this? a mashup of them. I think oh, I'm Kermit. their child. Oh, Kermy, like, Miss Piggy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I thought I was going to crush this or I wouldn't have said it. <laughs> the boner is gone at this point. But you they tried. Said, they said, maybe give me a little, I don't know, animal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's back just up. give me it's the drum up. set. Uh, uh, well, no, I mean, so I think I could maybe handle it. I don't think they could based on yeah. what just transpired. I would. I would be laughing too much. Yeah. I would not be able to get past the ridiculous of it ridiculousness yeah. of it which i th i think it was like it would be like i could deal with trying it but i don't think they could deal with receiving it the way no. it comes out of me absolutely <laughs> not i wonder oh god i wish i hadn't said had this thought oh okay yeah they're you know how there's sometimes. like animated porn yeah for the r real deep weirdos yeah i wonder if there is like Oh, there Muppet, has to be. If right? you can, like, if, if you can think of it, it's made. If you can think of it, it's a thing that happens. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah. God, what were we thinking about the other night that I was like, there's a subculture. Oh, I we were watching Disney adults and on a cruise you ship. You love vlogging. this. We, I love we, it. We watch these. It's because it's fascinating. Here's the thing. M multifaceted. Okay. I, I tried to like, we were watching this family. Like they have adult kids, but the parents are the super into Disney. Like they move their family to Florida specifically. Wow. Yeah. And it's fascinating. And they run this like um, travel company. So it's, they also built it in as part of their job, mm -hmm. but they like go on the cruise ship and the mom like will cry because she's like so excited to be there and Disney and all of this stuff. And I'm like, what is my equivalent of that? Mm -hmm. But then, so that's one thing that I'm like, man, I'm not into this on any level that they are but it is very inspiring just to see their pure joy what yeah. would bring me that much joy and i think about like that but then at the same time what would there I, I don't know exactly i'm like i like i like too many things like i don't have a very narrowed like i like traveling i love mm -hmm. traveling i love experience like adventures with friends and elliot but I don't have like a genre of a specific particular thing that would bring me to tears every time I experience it. I don't know if I could reach tears, but I will say if like right now I had to go, what would be like, where would you would be like, I'm so happy. Yeah. It wouldn't be family or friends. It would be, it would be like, I'm on a vineyard in right. Bordeaux, France. Yes. And there's a spread like I'm in a Nancy Myers film. Yeah. And I'm just drinking like the best wine and eating yeah. the best cheese. And like there's dappled sunlight through the vines. Yeah. I feel like that would be my version of like think like, a happy thought so you can fly in Peter Pan. Yeah. Like a hotel room with an amazing view is probably like my happiest place. You do like you, with amazing that, room like, service. Room service yeah. is on the way. Yeah. You've got a seat. You just found a season of Real Housewives. You uh, didn't know you accidentally A beautiful bed. Skipped. Clean bed. Yeah. Whole season I didn't know existed. Whole franchise. But here's wow. the other part of this Disney thing. That's pretty good. They, they're vlogging and they're mentioning like, oh, we're with our, they, they seem, Elliot and I like to get high and then create, create these false narratives about these people that we're watching that I'm like, they're <laughs> wasted. Look at how wasted she is. Look, she's so wasted. They're so hungover. But then they mentioned that they have these friends that they're like, they clearly, they showed some dinner scenes where they were all drinking red wine. And I was like, they seem a little sloshed. So maybe Ooh. we're not too far off. And okay. then I was like, in my high brain, there's gotta be a subset, subculture of Disney adults that are all swingers. Yeah. And then I, I started creating the narrative that they're on this cruise because it's like, that's their swinger cruise. Yeah, because I'm sure all those kids go to like Disney Kids Club. Right, right, 
Right. So while they're hanging with Goofy, the other ones are getting a little goofy, you mm-hmm. know, in, in their bedroom. I think yeah. there absolutely is. I've, there's that and I didn't want to Google it because I don't want yeah. I don't need I don't need that. In their, in, in their in my, yeah. And all that. Put that one on a private browser. Um, yeah. Yeah. I definitely think so. Because I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So yeah. I feel like I'm going to I'm going to lose all our Disney fans right now no, and there's no judgment i was just like if you can think it it's a thing that must be a thing that's so interesting to wonder about for a second and then it's oh. like you guys do your thing but i bet it's there's a world where this exists a thing i mean a the amount of role play that probably goes on you know what oh, i mean but endless fantasies endless. you can have endless fantasies in this world but also little crossover yeah is i feel like there's a fine line between someone who's really an adult who's really excited to see someone in like a disney like character costume Mm -hmm. and furries yes oh wait you think there's a fine line i think there's a fine line oh okay i I feel like if you're like oh my god it's tigger it's like yeah are you attract uh, do you also are you a furry behind closed doors you know what i I mean i do know what you mean i'm not sure i because it does bring out like there is this it like is from what i've seen in these vlogs because now mm-hmm. I, I just consider this, I'm doing anthropological studies, and this is how I learn <laughs> about the world since I'm stuck inside. I love, I love that every week now, you're like so smart. It'll be like, yeah, I mean, there's a huge thing between the cross-cultural cult references <laughs> and early days of YouTube culture. And now, now, we, now we're on the like, Disney TED Talk. No, I love it. It's just like they, they regress so obviously when they're in the mm. presence of a character. Like this, you'll watch this mother of like, teenage children literally cry and you like see her inner child take over her entire like body Mm. and now she's suddenly like a seven-year-old girl in the presence of like her favorite cartoon character that she for a moment believes to be real and is interacting with so it's like it's harmless but it's just endlessly fascinating that's all to say if you can think it it exists it exists and also to say if you can get that excited about something as an adult like yeah i'm not judge it though i sound judgmental i'm not judging i'm actually quite envious i smile through their whole vlogs all the time that i have just not necessarily this family we don't watch them as much because they they how many channels do you watch two primarily okay okay the other one that we watch is a much bigger uh youtube channel and they're just they're like our age and they're a couple and they are so you're just like smiling while you're watching them you're just like they're having the best time this is so nice to see there's nothing harmful about what they're doing at all okay but here's here's another question here's a follow-up yeah. question but where does that lie in the child exploitation of it all do they show their children a lot well the is couple it a family that we watch, channel no the couple that we watch is just the two adults so we love have, that love that so they're just literally having the best time and they're now full time on their youtube channel so they're like they figured it out man yeah. that they're making money off something they genuinely just love to do god that's great um the others are also figuring out in a different way because they run this travel business they'll show their kids occasionally it's always a little awkward okay. but they they don't make a point to put them in there which is also funny because it seems like they're pushing their kids out of the documentation okay. of their then I'm really into it then I'm really <laughs> yeah. into it um okay you're up here's one that isn't it isn't like a question so I'll just but I wanted to tell you yeah um MZ Luzi says regarding self checkouts because we had that convo about self checkouts yes. and if they're express or not yeah said the UK stores have a scanner you take with you to use while you're shopping that you already have the total as you Whoa. grocery shop whoa that's so much that's interesting you see you know when you go and they have the little the gun you can just do, yeah do, 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 i love when doing you get- that I'm, it makes me speaking of regress feel like the little girl that just ordered her like register from jc penny toys yes. <laughs> it's like i'm gonna play that i'm a cashier right now oh my gosh i thought you were gonna say like when i play the the kind of bride who has a registry oh. <laughs> yeah, but, but there, i guess they that. have they have some like that where you just do it as you go along and you're wow. putting it in your cart so that by the time you get to the front, you just have your total. How do they make sure people are not not clicking the their thing. items? I don't know. And I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I went to, I've been to two shows at the forum. I, I'm like blanking on which one I went to. Oh, it's when I went to Phoenix and, um, and Beck when you were at Taylor Swift yeah. next door. Yeah. 
I went and they had like a little, you know, kiosk thing to go in and beer shop. Yeah. You know, like you would any normal snack you walk through. It, you put in your card and looked into a thing and then you went in and got whatever you want and just left. And yes. It, and it totaled it. And I was they, like, because they scanned my face. Yep. They have that at the airport now. And it really it's freaky every time you just so walk freaky. in, you get what you want and you just walk straight out. It's it like, is, so the computer is just like what following me and seeing yeah. what I grab. Yeah. And that as you go out, whatever, at least at the airport, it seems like when you, I don't know how it works exactly. I don't I'm either. assuming when you walk out, they can like see everything that you're holding on to or something, or they register it as you pick it up throughout the store. And we're just in a surveillance state. We're being see, watched like crazy. I know, but I'm so great. I'm so bad at like how, what computers are capable yeah. of that i'm thinking there's like a board there's like a control room with like one person to watch one person just <laughs> yeah. like i got eyes on the the, the racing hat girl yeah you yeah, know what i mean just yeah. like clocking it like she got she got a firestone ipa oh, okay she put it back she- <laughs> yeah, they're, they're watching us like sims in real time yeah, that it like takes more people to figure it out than people actually shopping no, I think I all of the I think all of the shelves and stuff must be weighted in some way too that like cross references uh, like I don't know. I don't understand how technology works. I just know either. it's getting out of control for me to understand. <laughs> totally. Totally. Let's talk about finding the right doctor for you. This is something you could say I'm pretty passionate about currently. Have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you literally ask everyone you know for their rec? You want a doctor that actually gets you, who listens to you and makes you feel super comfortable. And then finally, after weeks of searching, you find the one. So you call their office to make an appointment and you see what's available. But then, dun, 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 the receptionist tells you that this perfect doctor doesn't take your insurance. Womp, womp. Well, wipe your tears. Put away that ice cream and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who is right for you and takes your insurance. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition that you're searching for. These doctors all have verified reviews from actual real patients, not bots. The average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 to 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately with just a few taps. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with the receptionist. Ooh, have I done that this year. If you're interested, go to ZocDoc.com slash weird and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash weird. ZocDoc.com slash weird. Okay, I have a could ya, and then okay. I have like a normal question. Okay. I mean, this is going to be 17 podcasts. Excellent. I love it. This is, hey, uh, I'm finished my cancer. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Okay. Could you deal? Perfect partner. Yeah. Absolute. Why am I doing a Trump? Perfect partner. <laughs> <Yes>. Absolutely great. <laughs> With that no, hat. No problems. Uh, <laughs> but he has a pet worm he takes for daily walks. Oh, <laughs> that was my. Nice. I mean, just, just I'm assuming with a worm on a leash. That a seems like a struggle for what it's worth. <laughs> it made a, me cackle. I'm assu- I feel like I have seen this like in the Muppets or something, but yeah, there is there is on some a program a little worm. Yeah, <laughs> I assume you're not gonna get far out of the driveway. <laughs> yeah, unless I, you're dragging this worm. Because, uh, <laughs> what if he was really putting, fast? Are you putting this worm in like a little tiny little wagon and then you can pull the little <gasps> wagon with the worm in? Now, how would you feel about that, Grace? That, I would, as, like, I'm assuming I don't have to be present for these walks. What if it were like a tiny stroller? You know how like dogs yeah. get too old, but they still <laughs> want the, the feeling of the breeze on their face? I mean, it's not the worst, could you, where I'm immediately like, absolutely not. Right. I feel like there's a way, because also, how long do worms live? And will there always be a worm in our lives at that point? I mean, but it could be that worms live like a week. So every right. week he's grieving and getting uh, a new worm and ado- that, adopting a new worm. 
adopt don't shop you know yeah, exactly. even for worms <laughs> exactly we don't need any designer worms in this house <laughs> the um that grieving process might be too much to handle um yeah. especially if something really serious like i don't know breast cancer would happen in the yeah. house <laughs> maybe maybe uh, but i'm if they can handle it and I can just support from a distance, okay, I think it could be okay. Like you could handle people going, saw Ellie, saw your husband. He appeared to be walking a worm. You'd be like, that's his thing. And I love yeah. him. So fuck yeah. off. I'd be okay. like, yeah, he's out there doing walks. He's, you know, that's his, um, he's actually doing really great. So there we go. I love that. And then yeah. when you approach it with that type of confidence, then other people go, looks at their partner and go, why don't you support me like that? Why don't you have a thing that you, you take out? You don't even let me rollerblade. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what's so fun, too? I got a Lupron shot this week, so every now and then I get, I'm get i basically in menopause this week. Oh, wow. Uh, so I get little hot flashes. And I'm like, this worm this conversation worm just got, got you. me all warmed Ooh, up. Not the Kermit role play, but the worm thing. No, Here's they only I'll last say. like a little bit. They last like for a second, okay. but it is so funny that I'm just like, Oh, here Ooh. comes one. <laughs> here comes it. Um, I would be the same as you. I would yeah. absolutely support Chip if he needed, if he wanted a pet worm. Mm. I mean, Larry's part worm. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. um, but oh, I yes. will say, it has to be crated at night. Yes. I can allow dogs in the bed. I can't allow a worm. No, no. Uh -uh. Worm needs a specific place to be. <laughs> um, that is like I don't know, away from food products, away from me well i think he'd have like a little he'd have like a little like a little dirt bed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, that'd be like cute a little dirt like oh, a little but... tank a tank right you put a worm in a tank like a... I, do, I don't know if people have pet worms i know if they have pet snails because i was on i don't know what side of tiktok the other day <laughs> <laughs> yesterday and someone was like you know reacting to like a comment and it was yeah. like my grandma doesn't crush her her snail eggs she throws them in the gutter and it was just like Someone was like, irresponsible snail owner. I was like, how did I get here? How did I get to snail talk? See, if you think it, it exists, that's all other world. I I'm just going to be on worm yet. talk from now on. Just like, wow. wait, how do we get here? How do we get here? Um, I love okay, that. That was a good could you deal. Okay, this is just like a normal one. Okay. Um, What are your, because I feel like you've been nesting, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I have for no reason. Yeah. Um. What are y'all's current favorite candles? It's a hotly mm. debated topic in my friend group. Interesting. Well, it's candles have actually been an interesting journey these past four months for me. Because Tell me everything. I love candles, mm -hmm. but I've been getting very nauseous at times, especially <gasps> in the beginning of this. So we couldn't have any scented stuff going on, which was a bummer because... I'm always concerned that our house smells weird. <laughs> like we gotta mask this. But anytime I light a candle, over. yeah, he would light a candle. And I'd be like, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. I've been super, wow. super sensitive to smells specifically. Like if I mean, it's been beneficial in that I am throwing food out of our refrigerator mm -hmm. before it gets super nasty in a way that I haven't done. I don't think in my adult life, but. When we started decorating for Christmas, I got some like Christmas fur or whatever, Christmas tree scented candles that we started to light and they've been OK because they've been a little bit more subtle. So I can like handle those. Yeah. Um, but we have one that we haven't lit. That's like it smells like a spiced cranberry kind of mm. candle. Yeah. Trying something a little different. So Ooh. we're getting I'm getting slowly back into like tolerating and enjoying the scent. So we have a like holiday. Because we have an artificial tree, we got a Christmas tree smelling candle that we've been mm. loving. Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, first of all, I'd like to know, Grace, because yeah. whenever we podcast, I light a candle. Have you been holding back vomit? No, they've been totally <laughs> fine. I Because I would tell you if something was bothering me. Okay, because nice I'm thing. like, I straight up light a candle and put it between us no. every time. If I haven't said it, it hasn't bothered me. I okay. have in the another beneficial byproduct of this learn to speak up more about like what I need to feel comfortable physically in a space. Hell yeah. Which is great. Uh, so that, yeah, if I didn't tell you it, then it didn't bother me. Okay, perfect. Well, okay. I'm all over the place with candles because yeah. sometimes, sometimes I want like a clean floral. Well, mm. you know, my greatest of all time, my goat candle is a tomato vine. Tomato. Yeah. Tomato. 
tomato. See, I can't do any soapy, florally. I like the smoky. I like the like sprucey. I like the outdoorsy smelling ones. I like the musky yeah. ones. You want to smell like you're hugging a rugged man. Yeah, like cedar whiskey or something. Yeah, you want to be like, oh, here's my candle. It's Travis Kelsey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, that if that How have they not the done works, that? That feels like a product that is in the process of coming out to the public. It Who better. Knows? It better. Yeah. Um, no, but so I'm all over the place. Like sometimes I'll burn candles that I specifically know Chip wouldn't be into. Mm, that I like, yeah. you know, like Chip doesn't want like a pumpkin vanilla, you know, mm. he's more into the same things, oh. like the woodsy kind of stuff, which okay. I am too. Like if it says t- tobacco, if it sounds like something you could smoke. Yeah. Or light yeah. on fire. I'm into it. Yeah, absolutely. And amber, like all that, you Mm -hmm. know, like I I want it to look, I want my candles to smell like, like there's a, there's a kind of interior design that I'll never do. Yes. Where you walk into someone's house and you're like, wow, you, I had doubts when you wanted to paint this room black, but it works. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, um, it's like a, like a textured mid-century modern kind of vibe that is like. I think like gothic. um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking more like a uh, modern cabin or something mm-hmm. i love that yeah. um, but so that's my favorite but also chip got me one of my um birthday gifts was a candle subscription box <gasps> that's so a I great get, idea so i get a new candle sent to me every month wow again that's not a, a sponsor but thing. it's it's called vela box v-e-l-l-a box oh, great. and every scent has been great and it's kind of like moved with the season you know, That's like now, fun. like it was like Harvest Moon and like pumpkin latte. And now it's more fun. like sprucey kind of stuff. And then every box, you also get like a little, like a little extra, like trinket tote, like little thing. Cute. Yeah. Cute. Like, uh, there was like a wood herb ripper with this one. Whoa. Cool. Yeah. So it's I've like been... the female equivalent of like bespoke boxes. Yes. Because yeah. I get served so many times those like men's box yeah that's and what I'm the like, bespoke box is but it's like we don't need more large ice cube trays i'm good with having like a coffee <laughs> maker is. that looks like a beaker i don't I, need it i just stopped because i guess at some point i got elliot like a bespoke box subscription i literally this last too soon. week yeah this last week i canceled it because every month i was like modifying the box and it's like do you want a machete or a tent and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> he do, he's not there's not one kind of man like this is so specific. oh my god true <laughs> words have never been spoken yeah so it's been like just hilarious like what they but also the items are cool but it's like so tailored to like a very yeah. specific type of dude that is very funny to me it's a very specific Oh my God. I don't even know if this is like an insult. Remember when like people would say when it first came out that it was like, he's a metrosexual. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's a very Brooklyn doesn't leave the city, but like wishes he was, he knew how to camp. Yeah. 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 Uh, It would be like mustache salve. This is the second week in a row. I've said salve. At least you have. It's in the zeitgeist. It is the season for Sal's. Tis the seas <laughs> for Sal's. Do you want to do one more? And then I have something to close it on. Yes. Okay. This is, um, let me see. Let me just make God, sure there's not any. We have any. so many podcasts worth of these questions. I know. These, and these are fun questions. Um, okay. Could you live, this is about living in your perfect ideal home. Speaking oh. of what we were just talking about. Okay. Could you live in your ideal home? But it's uh, haunted by a ghost that watches you when you use the toilet and shower. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Perfect everything home. Price is right. No. I would I rather live in this one bedroom rental. Yeah. <laughs> Then live in like a perfect Pasadena mid-century modern knowing that that bitch is coming out when I got to Yeah. Also, I, I would have like a lot of health problems from holding it in. <laughs> I already do uh, at times. So this is, I really thought for a second, I was like, let me imagine if I could get over this and like, would this be the way to help me like just be okay with the potentialities of like ghosts that I, I mean, I, I believe in ghosts. I believe in aliens. Mm. I believe in all of that. Just, I believe there's way more stuff going on than we can ever account for currently mm-hmm, with the mm-hmm. way that we, the knowledge that we have uh, and the science that we have. So like, 
I it wouldn't be me like denying the fact that there's a presence here or whatever. It'd be right. like the knowing every time I had to go to the bathroom that like a moaning myrtle type is just like sitting there well, waiting for me. I'd be like, I don't I really want privacy because that's the only place you get real authentic real privacy, privacy well, in your house. OK, t- it, two, two things. Yeah. One, could you build an outhouse? Like a Lux, mm. like are they sequestered to that house or mm. is it like that person, that ghost will follow you on your property? You know what I mean? If right. I leave and go shit at Del Taco, are they right. showing up because it's three blocks away? Mm. Or, you know, is it just that beautiful house? I think my the sec- house is the, yeah, the ghosts would have to be sequestered to the house because they haunt the house. So I yeah. assume... I'd be pissing in my yard so much because like the only time I couldn't hold it or go elsewhere is, you know, as we get older, I got to pee in the middle of the night. Most nights. Same. (laughs) Never used to do it. The outrageous bathroom experiences I've had over the last four months. This go, this ghost would would like leave. It would exercise itself. This ghost would be busted. (laughs) This ghost yeah. would, get, would bust itself. <laughs> this isn't worth it, this ghost would feel. And they would be sorry for what I've gone through and they'd need to leave because they couldn't be that empathetic to me anymore. Totally. <laughs> My other thing was going to be, if I was going to try it out, mm-hmm. yeah, well, let's say, let's say the ghost was like less awful and more like, you know, the couple in Beetlejuice. Gina right, Davis. Yeah. And, and, yes. and more, it's more like, what's up, Denise? Yeah. Yes. How's your like, ghost day been? My, respectful, fine, cool. I'm, you know, just you're like having convo and you don't care. Yeah. However, what I would do mm-hmm. if someone like if you're signing the papers and they're like, by the way, you know that the ghost is going to watch you poop. And you'd be yeah. like, yeah, I know. Um, hand me the keys. <laughs> I would get someone who specializes in the in-between mm, yeah. to like assist us for the first few meetings. Oh, yes. Like a medium. I would need the medium there to be like, okay, and here she comes. Yes. I don't know why my ghost's <laughs> name is Denise. Denise, this is her. Are you here? We are friends. And, the, you know, I would, I couldn't do, like a, a dog I couldn't trainer. do a one-on-one date. I would need, yes, uh-uh. I would need someone to be there as like, facilitating. You know, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I just don't know that I would if I have the option not I know. to. I I'm don't really, think I would. I, I want to have a beautiful house so badly. Yeah. And the bathroom I'm is trying really to figure like out a, a reason. Yeah, same. The bathroom is a sacred space to me. And truly, like, mm. I do one of the biggest foundations of a bathroom is privacy. And but so, here's, okay, TMI. Yeah. yeah. I'm really fast on the shitter. Incre- good so, for you. Also, I don't know if you saw my Instagram story that Pinterest sends me push notifications and one of them was like, shitters and other things. <laughs> I, I like, couldn't I tell. Don't. I thought that was a board you made. I was no, like, what is she like, to? Why? No, normally it'll be like more vegan recipes and like things like that. And I was like, what? Yeah. What, sh- what is shitters? And now Amazing. I just said it on our podcast. Yep. Um, but I'm pretty fast. I'm very fast. Yeah. You know why? Because I wait till the last minute. Right. You wait till it's an impossible situation. So it would truly be like, and what's up, ghost? How's it going, ghost? How's your day going? And yeah. we're done. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like I almost do it in like a psychotically fast <laughs> manner. <laughs> Good for you. I'm just saying. So, yeah. The uh, My situation cool. has been opposite. So the ghosts <laughs> and I would just have a, like, it would be awkward conversation at some point. And it would be like, cause how do you go? The like, how do you just leave? like, can can you wrap it up? I'm like, no, I can't actually. I, I'm I trying. Got, I got to go spook some kids. <laughs> okay. Well, I wanted to end on this because yeah. someone submitted a question or a comment or whatever. And I don't know if they were being sincere okay. or if they are fans and realize we've done this before at length. Okay. Okay. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to say this and then we will cut to a clip of us already having done this because I realized we had already discussed this topic, I believe October, 2020, according to my Instagram. (laughs) Wait, so three years ago, three years ago. Wow. So this could be a new listener or this could be a call out. Jessica Myers five says rank the ways to cook eggs. Now you and I had a very thorough discussion Mm -hmm. on ranking eggs by how fancy we thought they were Mm -hmm. which Mm -hmm. i think is still ranking how to cook eggs yeah i agree ranking how to cook like ranking 
ranking your best ranking eggs okay ranking different cooking methods of eggs okay yeah, yeah we, this is yeah we have done this before and you know what i'm curious what we said <laughs> i am too i have no idea so <laughs> yeah. maybe you're a new listener and you didn't hear it so here's a little clip uh, and maybe you also just don't have memories like we do and you'd like a little refresher so here's yeah. the clip but here's the controversial thing i'm gonna say that might okay uh, it might fuck up our twitter uh-oh let's do it i have raked different types of egg preparation from fanciest to least fancy and please tell me if you agree with this. okay egg preparation fanciest to least fancy got it number one your jam soft boiled eggs but not just that and i think nicole Byer and john milheiser will agree with me uh-huh. when i worked at a little cafe they had the soft boiled eggs that you put on the little pedestal yeah and you the- crack the top off with your spoon like you're a goddamn queen yeah that is so much and then you dip thin breads yeah. in there called Ugh. soldiers like wait you, they're called soldiers little thin cut pieces of bread you dip that'll fit in the top of the egg they're called soldiers so like <laughs> who no, decided that who decided that like oh excuse me i have this to is... like sacrifice my soldiers to get my soft yo yeah this is like was it some like six-year-old prince that was like here go my, my soldiers yeah, like, into my beautiful egg yes. in his non <gasps> unnecessary egg tray yeah but yes who invented that that's a great idea there you go to look into mm-hmm. but anyway I think those because like they come with their own fucking pedestal. Yeah. Well, but- yes, I think the presentation is super fancy, but mm-hmm. I feel like it's a little overcompensating for how, in my opinion, easy it is to make those. OK, just okay. because you just throw them in, you don't do but anything. And I'm then not you peel ranking them, them from difficulty. I'm ranking them from fanciest. prestige. OK, but you're saying fanciest in terms of presentation. I'm just saying overall, overall vibes. Aura. OK. <laughs> Okay, okay. I just want to know what parameters we're working with so I can switch my lens. Yes, in that case, yes. I don't know of any other eggs that are presented in their own piece of uh, yeah. kitchenware that can be used for nothing else but an egg. Yeah, like maybe a candlestick. You could yeah. maybe put a thick stick in there. <laughs> um, no, like literally when I say they're the highest ranking, yeah, they have soldiers. Yes. They, okay. okay. I would go from the soft boiled uh-huh. to poached to poach, yes, to uh, like fried, fried as fancy, mm-hmm. to omelet, okay, to scrambled, okay, to then hard boiled, hard boiled. Why is hard boiled last? I feel like do hard boiled. You buy still- them at gas stations. You can buy them at gas fair. stations. Fair, okay, that is fair. I see that. I know yeah. they come in their shell. They're portable. I fucking love a boiled egg. I have buy, buy bags of them at Trader Joe's. Yeah. That's too far. <laughs> that, tell me what's ah! wrong about it. Give me three things that are wrong with that. First of all, it just looks like a sack of eggs, which yeah. reminds me of a fallopian thing. Yeah, I mean, the, look, we're Se- talking about eggs. Second of all, they get super rubbery when you buy pre-boiled eggs that are like... Yeah. And third, I just don't want to look at it. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> fair. Fair. It's just like a bag of cue balls. Well, it's like, uh, I consider it like a string cheese. You know, oh. like you can take it and it's got a little bit of it's better than like chips or something if you want a snack. But you got you put it. salt and pepper on it. Do you do everything bagel on it? Because that'll change your goddamn See, life. There you go. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. She's an everyday woman. There is a brand we are not sponsored by uh-huh. called Peckish that some of them got sent to me once. I don't remember. Uh-huh. But it's basically yeah a boiled egg. I don't remember if it comes in the shell. I think it comes on wrap. But it's boiled egg and then like a little cup of seasoning <gasps> that you open and then you just dip your egg. Wow. As you go. And there was like everything bagel. There's like some like crunchy spicy. And okay. I was just like, great. I love it. Yeah. But OK, so would you disagree with this ranking? I think I know fried and omelet is a is fried to me. I would put a little lower only because I feel like isn't it the thing in cooking Making the perfect like scrambled eggs is like one of the most difficult no, thing or omelet. Making the perfect omelet is like yeah. how you determine how good a chef is. Right. So that's okay. me. I'm moving o- omelet below poach. Just because fried to me feels like when you fucked up your omelet, it suddenly becomes fried. Oh, see, I think when you fuck up your omelet, it's scrambled. Fried uh, still mm-hmm. has like a finesse to it because yeah. you want to keep the yolk soft, which I guess that's mm. okay. There is my determine it my top three have a not totally done yolk so okay. boiled poached and fried so they're all a little soft they're all they 
timing is important. Okay. Are we missing any types of egg preparation? That's what I was wondering. There's got to be something. <laughs> I feel like we're very close-minded on... I mean, on... of course, there's like frittatas, etc. Right. But that's just pouring some God... And quiches. But that's just pouring mixed right. up eggs with other stuff. This Maybe, is the art form. I think, you, if anything, you're bringing awareness to a conversation Thank about you. a food product that could use some updating. You know how avocados have become like a very popular millennial food and yeah. like people are doing all kinds of crazy shit with that like perhaps we need to develop the new egg technique what's the new egg oh man is this it a sous vide is... <laughs> can you sous vide an egg uh, you can sous vide anything that's yeah i guess that's true but it's just we don't have that type of kitchen uh, machinery right anyway so i was thinking wow. a lot about eggs today really important and i think a really uh, this is a great conversation for a group of friends to yeah. really you know how people do like myers briggs personality tests yeah. i think if you instead just give them like here are the egg options mm. list them from fanciest to least fancy in your personal opinion yes. and then you compare notes with everyone and you really get a huge insight into people's personalities you know what this is this is a great conversation starter at brunch yeah big time because then people are probably ordering different types of eggs mm -hmm. and you've already had like a, a light jovial argument yeah. about your differences in ranking and yeah. then they come down and you're like you're telling me those fucking plebeian fried eggs are fancier than this french omelet <laughs> uh -huh. with fine herbs oh yeah anyway don't get me started i'm already done <laughs> <laughs> You guys, what I love is that we just had to pause while we restarted the camera for YouTube. Yeah. And I just looked and we've done 18 minutes on eggs. This is important. Look, this is, <laughs> we don't get yeah. political too much on this show, no. but I think this is an important political conversation Thanks. for people because this is, you know, something everyone has experience with and yeah. does affect them on a daily basis. Wow, what a clip. Wow, listen to those Muppets. Someone did actually ask one of my questions. Do you guys go back and binge listen to your episodes oh, no. like we do? And I was in my mind, absolutely not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I go on YouTube and check the comments when they, yeah. on the day they come out to make sure a nipple didn't pop out or <laughs> that I didn't say something I didn't know was offensive. Right, yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been interacting with some comments over there more. So thank you guys for everyone that leaves comments over there. Oh, it is very snap. fun. Okay, yeah, I need to get I in there. I forget that you can do that. Uh, I, so yeah. I'm thankful that everyone's making comments for the last few years that maybe I haven't <laughs> interacted with. Oh, right. I know. Okay, I'll start having a dialogue and we'll, yeah. I'll sign it M. Um, nice. But also, that was fun. And we might yeah. at some point uh, in a few weeks have a little best of episode. Uh, we, yeah. are a we were asking our pervs on Patreon what some of their favorite moments were. Not like in the last year. I'm talking like four years ago, three years ago. Yeah. So for people who... Um, might be newer listeners they can hear like some old jams if they haven't gone back from the beginning so that yeah. might be that might be a fun little best of ep we're gonna do so gracie can continue to heal and Yay. celebrate chemo and then surgery yes <laughs> we love yes. it we love it um okay well you go you go lay down yeah i gotta go eat a small meal oh and <laughs> what are you having <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just a turkey sandwich. I, I, I'm trying. This is the thing. I have to be more disciplined with what I eat. Because last time this round, I immediately started eating Chinese food. Because I was oh. like, I want comfort food. Because I'm yeah. trying not to feel good. And then I was just with my potential ghost all night up in the toilet all night long. So I got it. I got it. I, it's my duty to make sure this isn't turkey from last week, right? No, this is sliced okay. turkey. Like, Phew! Elliot literally just got back from the store as we were recording. <laughs> I was like, Grace is like, can't risk my stomach. Let's eat this one week old turkey from Thanksgiving. Give me this turkey leg and give me these mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's only been eight days. Uh, all right. Well, well this got weird. Mm-hmm.